Okay, I expected it. It's the first day of school, but like the parking, not even the parking, but the traffic is so bad around all the parking decks. So I have to literally park at street parking. I just have a statistics class today, so I am gonna be there for like an hour and change and then I'll be leaving. Anyways, first day of school. I'm just ready for this to be over. <laughs> is 9 p.m. on the dot August 23rd and I've been home for a while I made dinner and stuff like that I'm currently eating a brownie flavored protein bar that is so good and I was sitting here trying to fix my notion for the school year I'm getting protein bar stuck in my teeth I did so much stuff today and I have so much stuff to do tomorrow I wish I vlogged it but I was so like pressed for time and I was like really stressed so I didn't even get to do that like I went grocery shopping today because I have like no food for myself because my mom is leaving tomorrow leaving me to hang dry so i have to wake up early to take her to the airport and i have to be taking my sister to school for the next three or four days on top of like going to class and of course the day she's leaving i have my 10 a.m so i'm moving too far ahead so i've been stressing myself out today with what my week's gonna come up with on top of like having to deal with this i've been at the computer for like an hour that's why i decided to pull out the camera and take a little break but i want to show you guys what my notion looks like this school year because i changed it i want to say a little bit probably a lot of it since the last time you guys seen it but i'm just gonna show you my academic page not the whole thing because that's the main thing we're focusing on today like i said i was filling out my assignment master list so far i only have amp done but i need to do my math and my medical terminology class so new things i added are a study to do i added a separate study to do just for school because i didn't like mixing it in with my normal study to do that's on my home page i have these two like date headline things and a course materials calculator i'm obviously going to get rid of this once i buy all this stuff but i just got it and started making it like before school started so i could like keep track of everything i need to purchase so the new thing i added into my academic center is that i added a grade book for every single individual course that i'm taking notion actually has a grade book template page thing that you can use so i used that and tweaked a little bit to adjust it to each of my classes but all you do is just add the weight of each particular assignment and i put the due date property here as well as the raw score property and at the bottom it'll change your average based on the numbers that you put into it so in each one of these little box things has their own grade book which i thought was pretty freaking cool i tweaked around a lot with the site to get it like this i used a couple videos but i'm very happy with the functionality of my academic tab this time around with my notion but literally this is the last thing i plan to do today i'm gonna finish filling out my notion and setting up my notion for all my classes because it's only my second day and so much crap is going on i'm gonna actually do some of the assignments because they're due tomorrow also don't worry i'm gonna be doing a desk tour because i am still getting a couple things but i really want to do a desk tour to show you guys like what my new desk looks like if you follow ectopia you already know that i got this a couple months ago but i am in love with it and i can't wait to show you also bye, wait, bye. <laughs> So here is the beloved desk. As you can see, the theme I'm going for right now is um pink and it matches the room perfectly but yeah that's what it looks like it's just in the corner just about every last thing you see including the desk itself is from amazon so whatever i can link down below i will link down below i didn't see a point in buying a desk chair when i decided to get this desk so this is a floor chair from amazon that i used to use for my tiny like lap desks that i had and obviously this was the stool that i got for the room so the stool was the perfect size but i needed back support so i put the floor chair on top of the stool and now it's a chair. Obviously it doesn't look that great, but it's functional and it saves me money. So this desk, you can either get it one tier where it's just this bottom part, or you can get it two tier like I have where you get the top and the bottom. So we're gonna start with the top portion. So over here, it's nothing fancy. I just have this little fake light bulb plant thing. I've literally had this since high school. I got this from like Ross years ago. This is a timer. I got this off of Amazon. I use this as 
as a study timer because I do the 45, 15, like Pomodoro, Pomodoro. I still don't know how you say that actually. Study session. This was a candle that my friend gave to me and I recently finished it. So I scored out the wax and made it a cup holder. This basket is also from Amazon, but I didn't get it from Amazon. And I put one on top of the desk to hold my books because before they used to be inside the storage that this stool has, but I wanted to low-key like display them. I have dabbled in a tiny bit of them, but I haven't finished a single one of them, but I'm working on it. And these are my two like, what is this like A4, A3 notebooks. This is my manifestation journal. And this is just a dotted grid journal because I wanted to get into like drawing, not drawing, drawing, but just like doodling. I have my calculator here. I also keep my camera in here when I'm not using it. And I have all my magazines. I have gotten free subscriptions to magazines because of T-Mobile Tuesdays. This one I bought though. This is the Vogue being Bella cover, Bella Hadid, love her. And next to that, I obviously have my iPad. I recently got this. This is an iPad Air. This is the 64 gig one. I actually have my name engraved on the iPad and on my Apple Pencil. I'll show you. There it is. That's my name. This case is also from Amazon. It's just a pink rose gold case. And the stand that it's in is also from Amazon. But I have seen these like iPad stands everywhere. It's just a basic one. So for the main section of the desk, I have my laptop, my laptop stand. So you might be wondering like, Arlene, when you actually have to do like book work, what do you do? Basically all this shifts to the side. So it's functional. It's not amazing, but it works for me. Also laptop case is from AliExpress. They have a bunch of colors. I'm going to link this down below. It is just the soft baby pink that you guys know I like so much. And then here is my laptop. Both my laptop, my iPad and my phone. <laughs> have the same lock screen because that's my mood board for the year. This laptop stand also from Amazon. This keyboard I got is also from Amazon. It lights up. The lighting isn't that bright, but it also changes colors. Here's some typing ASMR for the people who like to hear the tippity tappity sounds of a keyboard. Now I'm going to change the color. for funsies, I'll do an ASMR of my MacBook's actual keyboard sound, which is pretty much completely silent. I'm literally going to be typing gibberish, so disregard, just in case you see my quick note with random letters and words on it. That is the end of this keyboard ASMR. <laughs> And you can also connect it to three other devices. It has one, two, three. So I have it connected to my laptop and I even have it connected to my iPad sometimes. Here I have my phone stand. This is also from Amazon. This is just a basic phone stand. I don't even know how fancy you can get with it. This mouse is also from Amazon. I've had this forever. So you can either use the USB or the type C and you just plug it into the side of your computer and it works like that. It's like wireless, but not Bluetooth. And I really like that. These little sticky notes my best friend recently just got for me. They're from Shein. They have little sayings on them. This one says, I love you for my life past. And this one says, live a good life, meet slowly. Which makes no fucking sense, but I think they're adorable. This little draw thing, draw, drawer, is from Target. And on top, I have my JBL headphones. They're like 40 bucks. I had ordered a wildflower phone case and it came with these stickers. So I put them on the side because they kept falling off my phone adorable and they're just white and they, they come in a baby pink color but it was out of stock so i need to work with what i have and then as you can see just the entirety of this mat is also from amazon i don't know the dimensions so yeah that is my desk tour i literally love this desk so much Good morning, friends. It's a little overexposed. Excuse my appearance. It is currently 11.34 a.m. I woke up like an hour ago. I just finished talking to my mom on the phone because she's not here. I needed to like scream because I'm so stressed. <laughs> Last night, I went to a birthday dinner with three of my friends. It was one of our other friends, 21st. So we went to celebrate and I already missed my friend's assignment. <laughs> I can turn it in late. 
but I won't get full points if I turn in late so and I also have a reading due for anatomy and physiology today at 2 15 I was gonna do it last night however I didn't think we were gonna be gone that long but this is actually pretty easy because it's just chapter one and two chapter two is like chemistry and I literally like just finished taking chemistry class over the summer and I took microbio and then just like intro stuff so I literally remember all this the front of your body is known as the anterior what structures are found in the posterior body cavity the brain and the spinal cord baby and this is this is off the dome baby i barely even read what if i'm loud or wrong anyway i'm gonna finish this quiz um i have amp today at 2 15 to i think it's like 3 50 i can't remember i just want to show you guys like the stress the stress is killing me i wake up sad not sad but just like ah i will catch you guys on the flip side again so sorry for my morning appearance your bitch just rolled out of bed just drank her coffee trying to get my water and my vitamins in for the day let's get out and pop in it's like i know the answer but since this is open book i might as well okay all right let's turn this bitch in see what i get her i got 95 45 i think i got this one wrong that's my score yay <laughs> i'm not even mad though like i'm really not because you know what it took a lot for me to get here so roughly five points away from an 100 that's better than failing you know what i mean so we're gonna take this as a w i'm gonna interrupt the video for just a short minute to have a word with our partner rose forever new york this video is actually in partnership with rose forever new york you guys know they're a friend of the channel love them so much as stated many times before rose forever new york is a new york based rose company that specializes in hand-picked artisan specialized luxury style bouquet of roses with endless selections from colors to the shape of the box that they come in material and all that and they're all preserved with natural oils as well as being being vegan and allergen free for those who have the sniffle snapples <laughs> when it comes to flowers. These roses are guaranteed to last up to a year, but as I've said many a time, the ones that I have are going on like two years now. The one that I have as a decoration on my nightstand is still looking really fresh and my mom still has her black one. So as you guys know, October is actually Breast Cancer Awareness Month, at least I would hope you know. And the reason why I chose the nine pink roses this time is one, because my favorite color is pink. But for the month of October, in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, for every pink bouquet they sell they are having not only discounts and free shipping but also donating two dollars to breast cancer research on top of this already discounted price and free shipping incentive you guys know that they always hook us up with a code so use code erlane25 for 25 dollars off of your order at checkout on anything but you should definitely get you some pink roses this time these are actually some of my favorite bouquets i really love this crystal box and i always get the nine roses but i'm just really all over it. like this color and this display it's so pretty to me first forever is so amazing so as always Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Again, please use the first link in the description to get you some pink roses to not only support them in donating money for breast cancer research, but you get free shipping, reduced prices, and to use my code or link 25 at checkout to help out with your purchase. With all that said, I'm gonna place this on my desk. Finally, I've been putting it off because I needed to film this ad read. And let's get back into the video. currently 8 p.m. it's actually just turned 8 p.m. and you know me Taurus vibes procrastinating as per usual today I got a lot of stuff done that I was putting off during the week I just bought all my course materials I turned in a syllabus quiz for my midterm class and I'm currently starting on my pre-lab homework for my AMP class because I have my first lab on Thursday of this coming week and that's due tonight I have to turn in I also have to do my math statistics check 
checkpoints tonight um and i'm calling one of my classmates from amp to help her with something else so i need to get this done before like 8 30 because that's when i want to call her i also need to write out like both of my notes for chapter one and two for amp like cohesively when i'm in class i write them on the powerpoints with my ipad but when i get home i want to like write them out and i was supposed to write them out during this week but like i said you know me procrastination station didn't get around to it so i'm gonna do it now but i definitely want to do it before like this new week starts because once you get behind with notes it's pretty hard to catch up i just downloaded the pdfs and stuff for my pre-lab homework so i'm gonna do this now i don't think it's gonna take long um it's just annoying i think is what it is but yeah that's all i'm doing right now